let's talk a little bit about Sergei Kavalyov, who I used to be a fan of, but he seems to have gotten himself in a bit of a pickle doing whatever the hell he did. And ever since that, well, things just haven't been going his way. Before we get into this trial that he will stand on January 6th, I believe, let's rewind back to the first Andre Ward fight where he whooped him, dominated, schooled, embarrassed Andre Ward. Yeah, Andre Ward had some moments later on in the fight, but come on. He got whooped, right? And then he never accepted that loss, right? He complained about it publicly. His whole team did. Uh, he belittled Andre Ward. Uh, said something along the lines of he punches like a girl. Something like that. I don't remember exactly, right? Um, he literally embarrassed, schooled, uh, belittled the American pride, right? Andre Ward, the American gold medalist. A Russian. During the time of, you know, Cold War 2.0, the whole Trump conspired with Russia BS, and y you know the deal, right? The whole thing about Russians being prevented, which has had some latest developments recently, prevented from competing um, in the Olympics, right? Because the whole world is allowed to Jews to a degree, and they're not at all, obviously, right? That's why. So there's been a lot of tension between America, U.S., and the Western world has basically been trying to, at least in the sports world, eliminate Russians from competition, right? This is This is what's happening. What's been happening still is happening, yeah? Right? So you could understand how someone like Sergei Kavalyov was, is, maybe not anymore, a big problem for American athletics, Western athletics, right? And he had to be gotten rid of. Except, you know, whatever the hell they did to him in that first fight, hooking him up with ponytail, well, I guess that wasn't enough because he still schooled and embarrassed American pride, right? I mean... So many people were so confident Andre Ward was going to do all these things, and he got manhandled and ragdolled like a little boy. That's what happened, right? Embarrassed. And then coming into the second fight, I don't know what the hell they did to the man. I'm talking about Sergey, but he walked into that ring crying. He was literally crying walking into the ring with Andre Ward and just didn't look himself. Something was off about him, right? And then he got knocked out <laughs> to the nutsack. He got, well, emasculated, right? It was a public execution, public emasculation of a traditional conservative male figure, Russian Orthodox man, right? Andre Ward castrated him in front of his... Illuminati handlers, if you want to put it that way. Right? That's what happened. But he was able to build himself back up, dusted himself off, and started looking good once again. Or decent, anyway. Right? So, just as he was on this comeback trail, the whole thing with Jamie Font, the woman who's accusing him of... Uh, Punching her in the face, something along those lines, right? Injuring her where she spent a long time in the hospital and she was gravely injured, supposedly, right? Except that happened in June. And forgive me if I don't get my dates exactly correctly, but I, th I want to say June 2018, supposedly, right? Or earlier that year. And then she came out with the story. The story dropped like a few days before his fight or in the lead up to his rematch with Alvarez, right? Which was many, many months later. So he supposedly does this, something so terrible to this woman and it takes her six or eight or nine months to take him to court. 
to come out. Really? I mean, I don't want to talk too much about this bimbo, and that's exactly what she is. Go check out her Instagram. Go go look at this woman. Go look at June of 2018 or her Twitter. Look at her posts. She's riding horses. She's being physically active, right? We're supposed to believe she was gravely injured at that time? When she's in the gym, horseback riding, like these are very demanding physical activities. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with her face before or after, right? If he broke her nose and I think injured one of her, um, there was something wrong with her spine or her neck. Like she had some serious problems supposedly, and yet there she is in the gym, horseback riding. I mean, come on, man. And then, and then check out some of her later posts. And please, please tell me she's not trying to make you believe that she fucks horses. I mean, I hate to be so blunt and disgusting, but this is what we're dealing with here. This lady wants you to believe that she's a zoophiliac. Whatever the hell she's involved in, it ain't pretty, basically. Go, ch go check out her Twitter and tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, so he's supposed to have a trial on November 25th. So right after, and again, I'm not that good with dates, but, you know, right after the fight with Canelo, that's supposed to be coming up, right? That's supposed to be his trial. It's supposed to begin then. And then he does what he's told to do. He takes a dive. And for all the people out there still concentrating on the knockout, as if that was some kind of an argument for why he didn't take a dive and completely ignoring everything that happened prior to that. Like, you're in denial. You don't know anything about boxing. Like, I've broken it down in another video. There's no reason why, no reason other than Sergey throwing that fight, why all of a sudden he forgot everything he knows about boxing and wasn't using his boxing skill, wasn't using the, the strategy he they were talking about all in the lead up to that fight, the same strategy he used against Anthony Yard, jabbing to the body, to the chest, to the arms, didn't throw any jab, didn't throw a single jab to Canelo's body, I mean, come on, man, while he was telling you that that's all he's going to do in the lead up, and then goes in that ring and doesn't even throw one jab to his body, throws no body punches, no long right hands, come on, man, get out of here, like, if... If you're still confused about what happened on that night, you don't know shit about boxing or you're just in denial, okay? And this whole idea that he, was, he wasn't recovered from the yard fight. He recovered in the 11th fucking round of that fight. What are you talking about? By the 11th round of that fight, he was already recovered. Get out of here. Jesus Christ, the dumb shit that people say is just ridiculous. Anyway, so he, Sergey Kavalev, just like he did in the Andre Ward rematch, it is my opinion, was a good boy and did what he was supposed to do in the Canelo fight, lie down, and lo and behold, they postponed his trial to January 6th. Why? Well, because he did what he was asked to do, okay? So instead of dragging him through court over Christmas and New Year's, they said, hey, go home. You deserve this much, right? You did your part. You lied down for little Canelo, little Nello. Go home, enjoy Christmas, New Year's, and, you know, we'll take care of this in the New Year when everybody's busy uh, failing on their New Year's resolutions and so on and so forth, right? Not even thinking about boxing. We're going to sweep this whole thing under the rug. It's just going to go away and disappear. Watch. Anyway, they postponed the trial. I mean, this, this horrible Russian who's done these horrible things to these innocent, wonderful women, right? They're just postponing his trial. Like, why? Anyway. And then, according to this article, kingsboxing.com, 3kingsboxing.com, from December 7th, 2019, Sergey issues a statement uh, right after he issued that one statement after the 
Canelo fight, basically saying that, what, you didn't understand that I couldn't win this fight? Not in so many words, but yeah, basically. Obviously, he had some excuse about how he didn't have, have enough time to train when in the lead-up to the fight, he told you that this is plenty of time. It's, this is actually better because he's going to be in better shape, blah, 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 all this stuff, right? And then his story changes 360, completely turns around and says that, oh, no, no, I was lying to you then. Now I'm telling the truth. I mean, come on, man. The only thing that he's saying that's true that you can believe is that he knew he had no chance of winning that fight, just like he knew he wasn't going to beat Andre Ward in the rematch, which is why he was crying walking into that ring. So he went back on everything that he said in, in the lead-up to the fight, building it up, making you believe in him. He said, why did you believe in me? Are you an idiot? Basically insulting all his fans that believed in him. So you want to dick right this guy? This scumbag, Sergey Kavalyev, you go on ahead, man. <laughs> he disrespected everybody that believed in him. After he made you believe that he was coming to win the fight. Anyway, so he issues another weird statement saying this. Dear friends, boxing friends, and everyone who is up to date on the latest high-profile news regarding me. I would like to ask all of you to not make hasty conclusions on the situation in which I am accused and put into the light in a not entirely biased manner. After all, you do not know the details of what happened. For me, in my opinion, something happened, man. He was probably hanging out with the skank and something happened. I don't know what exactly, but I don't believe that everything that she says happened, happened. Because just go look at her Instagram. Go look at her Twitter, man. Just... Go look at when she was supposedly in the hospital with these grave injuries and tell me why she's horseback riding and, and lifting weights in the gym. Get out of here. Anyway, for me, this most of all seems to be a performance in which I played the main role by not Will. So what he's telling you is that they're making him do things he doesn't want to do. He's an actor. This is a performance that he's forced to, into playing. Okay. Doesn't it seem strange that you to you that the incident happened in June of last year and they announced it on the eve of my rematch against Alvarez? Doesn't it seem strange to anyone that he supposedly did this in June of last year, but it came to light right before his rematch with Alvarez? They were trying to get rid of this guy, man. Get him out of boxing. Just like they got all these Russians out of Olympic competition because they, like everybody else, are juicing. But no, the Russians can't juice. We can, basically, is what they're saying, right? They took Sergei's drugs away from him in his rematch with Andre Ward. And probably leading into the first fight, I mean, seeing as the dude had no stamina, right? The guy who's always thrown a million punches and just went apeshit in all of his fights. All of a sudden, didn't have great stamina. I mean, did you see his stamina in the B-Hop fight? How great his stamina was? How many punches he threw? Then all of a sudden he doesn't have stamina against Andre Ward. Doesn't have stamina in a rematch. Did you see his stamina in the Anthony Yard fight? How he recovered from being hurt and how many punches he threw in that 11th round? How he recovered in the 11th round? Come on, man. Like, What are you looking at? Are you paying attention to what's happening anyway? What were we talking about here? Yeah. Doesn't it seem strange to you that this guy is basically, he's essentially telling you. you. You know what else he's telling you? Besides the fact that he's an unwilling actor in all of this over and over again. What else is he saying? That he's going to write a book one day. <laughs> I can't wait till he does that. Because whether it's explicit or not, I think everything will be revealed in that book. And I'm sure it's going to be a pretty good read. Sergei Kavalyov, he will. He will one day tell all when he's safely tucked away in Russia, no longer dependent on the Western machine for anything, where he has fucking gorillas with Kalashnikovs guarding him 24-7. He will finally tell all. And it's going to be real fucking interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.